let me ask you a question. Have you been stuck in a traffic jam today? If you commute to work, chances are that you have. And guess what? You're not alone. Did you know that in the United States, the average commute time back and forth to work is about 80 minutes? That's a long time. Here in the Bay Area, it's even worse. It's two hours on average to commute back and forth to work. What's worse, besides all this time lost, is also the environmental impact. Did you know that a car produces about 4.6 metric tons of CO2 emissions every year? That's a lot of uh, CO2. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, these are problems and there are some solutions to this problem that people have attempted. Traffic is a bad problem. So what solutions have been attempted in the past? Well, first of all, there are carpool lanes. Now, how well do these carpool lanes work? In the beginning, they worked pretty well. However, I've noticed that they do get crowded. And even though more people drive and carpool, I don't think it's that effective. A second solution would be to add more lanes. If four lanes are not enough, how about five? How about six? Well, have you been to Los Angeles and seen what those highways look like? You've got double carpool lanes, eight lane highways, and still there are traffic jams. In China, there are even highways with 50 lanes and they experience the worst traffic jams. So maybe widening lanes or adding more lanes is really not a solution either. So how about improving public transportation? Well, I would say that could reduce your carbon footprint, but it still takes a lot of time. I used to commute to San Francisco. It would take me an hour and a half each way. Three hours of my day lost right there. So I don't think these are great solutions. I do have a solution that I believe will work for everybody and that will transform the world. Working from home. With working from home, I, it would save me a lot of time. I work from home every single day. In fact, my whole company works from home. I allow everybody to work from home. And there are some good reasons why. First of all, let's talk about the benef benefits of working from home. Number one, you have a lot more time. That's really what it's all about. The time makes you more productive, so you, you don't spend the time in traffic. And second, I also have a lot more time for my family, and I can attend things like school events. That's really important to me. The second benefit are environmental. Can you imagine if a lot of people work from home, what kind of impact it has on the environment? Let's take a look at these trends. In 1950, the number of white collar workers and blue collar workers were about the same, about 37%. However, now in 2019, this number has changed drastically where they were equal before in 1950. Now, blue collar workers only represent less than 20% and white collar workers over 60%. Do you see the opportunity there? of how much environmental impact we can make if many of these people were to work from home. And the third benefit from work to working from home is as an employer, I can hire pretty much anybody who is living and working in the similar time zone as myself. So that gives me a lot more flexibility to hire the best talent for my company. Now there are a few drawbacks. The first drawback of working from home is less human interaction but you can overcome those easily. There are modern tools such as Slack and messaging, video conferencing, and you, and you can still have that human interaction. The second drawback would be the line, that the lines between personal and uh, professional life might be blurred, but you can set limits like how much you work 
and also by setting up your own home office space. That helped me a lot, and that kept my work-life balance in check. Now, there are also some long-term effects that we don't know quite yet what they will mean. For example, if a majority of the people work from home, what does that mean for home prices or the global economy? I think that it will equalize home prices by a little bit, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, given that San Francisco is really expensive. The second thing that I believe will happen also is that it will change society because uh, we will spend more time in our local communities. I have spent more time volunteering in my local community uh, as well as visiting local coffee shops and all these things that I didn't have time before. So what can you do to join in this home office revolution? Here are three things that you can do. First of all, ask your boss if you can work from home. Chances are that your boss will agree, and you can ask for just one day per week and make sure that you show that you're still productive. Number two, if your boss doesn't allow it, look around. There are actually many companies that allow working from home. There are companies like Zapier, Envision, and my own company, John and Joe, which allow everybody to work from home pretty much all the time. Number three, if you are an employer, like myself, give people the flexibility to work from home. Try it out and see the transformation happen. So in summary, yes, I believe that working from home can save the world. Not only will it save the environment, it will give you your time back for your family and increase your productivity. So what are you waiting for? Join me in the home office revolution.